Okay, hi answer. Okay, I'm going to talk about what happens when light passes from air to water. Okay, um, air is a medium that is optically less dense, so it's easier for light to pass through. So that explains why the speed of light is relatively high at okay, the extent of 8 meter per second. And for water, it's an optically denser medium, so it's harder for the light to pass through. And that explains why the speed of light is lower at 2.25 times 10 of 8 meter per second. So, um, when there is a change in the speed of light, the light will bend. So, why does the light bend? We will look at it right now. Okay, an optically denser medium will slow down the speed of light more than an optically less dense medium. So now, uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's say we have a light ray that is moving from air to water, which is from a faster region to a slower region. Okay, we can, we can use the analogy of a car. We see light ray as a car with four wheels. Okay, that is moving from a faster region to a slower region. So it can be like from land to water. So, we see that uh, these four wheels will move the car. So this front wheel here is going to touch the slower region first. So this, this wheel here is going to slow down. And this wheel here is going to maintain its speed. So for a car, when one, one wheel starts to slow down and the other wheel still maintain its speed, right? It will cause the whole car to turn. Okay, and this is what will happen. And the light ray will also turn uh, because of this principle. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at uh, the reverse, which is the the light ray moving from water to air, which is from a slower region to a faster region. Okay. Let's say now we we take a look at the example of a car. This wheel is going to touch the surface that is faster. So this wheel is going to move faster, and this wheel is going to maintain its speed. So what happens is that it will cause the whole car to turn in this direction and you see that the, the car will bend away in this way. Okay. So now uh, let's, let's try to do a summary. Okay, when the light ray travels from a less dense medium to a denser medium, it will bend towards the normal. And the normal is actually an imaginary perpendicular line to the separation of the two medium. Okay. And the next scenario, when the light ray is moving from a denser medium to a less dense medium, the light ray will bend away from the normal like this. Okay. So what happens when the light ray enters uh, straight into the medium, like this case. Okay, we go back to the analogy of the car. When the car is moving from sea to land, which is a slower region to a faster region, both wheel touches the touches the land at the same time, so both wheel will move faster at the same time. So in this case, there will be no bending of the car. Okay. Now uh, let's do a whole recap of what we learned. Okay, when light ray is traveling from an optically less dense to a denser medium, it will bend towards the normal. When light ray is traveling from optically denser to a less dense medium, it will bend away from the normal. And if, if it's entering at 90 degrees to the separation of the medium, then no bending of light will occur.